All right, we are uh, we're doing the thing. We are doing the thing. So tier list. Um, all right, real quick, I'm just gonna put this out there because I know that I I already know people are gonna skip this part. I'm gonna get roasted for it anyways. This is my personal tier list. Okay, this is my tier list coming from a free to play player, someone who has put zero dollars into the game. Someone who mainly puts their time and effort into focusing on their units. I don't put in money to, you know, increase my unit skills, abilities, EXP, affinity, anything like that. I mainly focus on just grinding, grinding, grinding to get my units to where they are. So I want to put that out there before, you know, y'all start attacking me in the comment section, even though I'm probably going to get attacked anyways. But well, as a free-to-play player, I'm going to be making this tier list. Now, I'm going to be kind of harsh with these units because... As someone who is a free-to-play player, right, we're obviously not going to have the most, you know, insane amount of summons like someone who puts money into the game, obviously. We're very limited as to what units we can summon for and stuff like that. So with that being said, like I said, I'm going to be very harsh with these units. I'm going to be pretty tough on them to see what units are like the most, have the most insane value for free-to-play players. What units should you summon for that are going to 1000% be of worthy for your Black Crystal. So... Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Like I said, it, my tier list is probably going to be different from someone else. You know, someone like GQ, Seed, Shiny, whatever like that. Because they are pay to win players and stuff. So it, some of them are going to be the same, obviously. But like I said, my tier list as a free-to-play player. Units that I believe that are 1000% worth going for when summoning. And units that you may not necessarily need to go for. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys are brand new, sure to sub. Drop a like if you guys if it helped you guys, if you guys enjoyed it. And um... Yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully, I don't get too roasted in the comments, but I, I already know it's coming. So, let's dive in. Let's let's start off with the rare units. Um, Catherine, okay? So, it's probably going to be a little bit of a long one. So, grab a snack, grab a drink, um, but let's go. So, first skill, um, not really doing anything regarding, you know, buff, debuff wise. 85% uh, attack, 85% magic attack, nothing too crazy. Second skill, uh, it's going to be for three turns, 90% attack, magic attack is 90% as well. 60% chance of applying a buff block to an enemy for one turn. Buff block meaning that they can't obtain any more buffs while the um, debuff is active. Element, or not element, I'm so sorry. Uh, special skill is going to be 50% chance of applying a 20% decreased stamina to an enemy. Um, decreased stamina by a fixed amount. It doesn't say what the fixed amount is. Um, so like it doesn't, like you have a 20%, you have a... Oh, never mind, it does. So you have a 50% chance of doing a 20% decrease stamina to an enemy. Um, not bad, obviously there are better units that can do that. And then the combined attack. 70% chance to dispel barrier on the target before attacking. Uh, dispel removes a barrier. And then, I'm okay, so for the sake of this video, I am not going to be worrying about the passes. Because this is going to be a free-to-play tier list. Meaning that most of us are not going to be, you know, having access to these passives. Especially when it comes to the SSR. So... Just, you know, something I want to put out there real quick. But, um, Catherine overall being a rare unit, you are going to be able to obtain pretty easily through summons because a lot of us are going to get shafted. Uh, we're not going to be pulling SSRs left and right now. So, with that being said, Catherine, you are at C tier. Most likely, this tier is going to change by the end of this video. I could move some units up or down depending on how I feel. But for now, I'm going to put her, put her at the bottom of the tier list. Moving on next, we have Gork. I don't even know how you pronounce that, but... Red typing, attacker unit, first skill, 95% attack and magic, nothing crazy. Uh, skill 2, 120 for the attacks. And then he has attack with increased penetration level 2. Penetration is increased penetration by 40%. Not bad. Pretty, pretty solid for a rare unit. Um, special skill, 50% chance of applying bleed on enemy target. Dealing continuous damage for 2 turns. That's going to be AoE. Um, bleed damage is pretty, pretty helpful, especially when you're clearing like... EXP and stuff like that, so that can be handy. Combined attack, uh, perform combined attack with your partner, AoE damage. If at least one enemy is taking continuous damage, attacks after applying 15% damage increase to yourself. Okay, okay, this isn't bad actually. This is a pretty good combined attack for a rare unit, surprisingly enough. It is 30% attack across the board, but it's not bad. So. If the enemy is taking like bleed, poison damage or like that, anything that is continuous damage, you're going to be doing an increased damage of 15% and then you can attack. So that, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. In comparison to Catherine, he is, I think, a lot better. Um, so that that's not bad. That's not bad, actually. So uh, it's also, there's going to be no particular order of where I put these units, just FYI. So 
for now. Okay, I'm just gonna put him in C tier. He's still really, really bad, but I think he's better than Catherine. So, I mean, if I had to put it in order, then it would go like that. But both still C tier. Nothing offering, nothing too crazy. Uh, Gordon. Okay, Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. So, 95 across the board. 40% uh, across the board. This is gonna be, what is it? Um, single target and enemies adjacent to them. So, AoE, not all of them, but like one or two, like two enemies, I think, right? 40% 40% chance of applying poison to an enemy doing continuous damage. Okay. Uh, kind of the same thing as bleed here. Special skills. 60% chance of applying poison to an enemy dealing continuous damage for two turns. 40% chance to apply HP recovery reduction level 3 to an enemy target for two turns. Uh, HP recovery. Reduces HP recovery by 40%. Okay, not bad. And then partner attack applies poison to an enemy dealing continuous damage for two turns. Okay, so I don't like Gordon's kit. Even though that he is revolved around one thing, I, I like the consistency that they were going with uh, for Gordon. Poison, poison, and poison. I like it. I like when, you know, units have this and they're not kind of like scattered all over the place. Because there are some SSRs and even SRs in this game where like their kits are doing multiple things and it just doesn't make any sense at all. So... I like how they're keeping it consistent with Gordon. Um, hopefully they continue to do that with like future units. I, I like the consistency of Poison. So it's not bad. Um, I think something that he could probably do better is allow, you know, do instead of doing this, the HP recovery reduction, do continuous damage. Do continuous damage. I like that. So if the enemy has, you know, obviously continuous damage such as poison or bleed, then he's going to be doing it an extra X amount of percentage damage. I think that would have made him a lot better. But the HP recovery reduction, nothing too crazy because especially in the meta right now, you're really not going to bring a lot of healers. And if you are bringing a healer, the only one you're bringing is Mimosa. So with that, he is going to be C tier as well. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, Klaus, what is my boy Klaus doing? Uh, 90 across the board. This is going to be a uh, support skill. So increased damage resistance level 3 to an ally for 2 turns. 40% chance to apply protection to an ally for 2 turns. Increased damage resistance by 32%. Uh, protection cannot be selected as a target of attack. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It is going to be single target though, not AoE, but this is the second skill. So if it was AoE, I think this would have been too broken, actually. Actually, you wouldn't even be able to attack the enemy at all. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, ultimate, 50% chance to apply penetration reduction level 2 to an enemy target for 2 turns. And then combined attack applies increased defense level 2 to yourself for 2 turns before attacking. Okay. Um, pretty alright. I don't like the defense penetration by this one. I don't like this one. Um... I feel like he's going for a defense. He, I mean, what is he, a defender type? Yeah, he is a defender type, so I really would have liked his ultimate to be more defense related instead of, this is kind of a offense related debuff that he's applying on enemies because you're lowering their defense, which means that you can do, you know, more damage and stuff. I mean, it's not really a offense skill, but I don't like it. I feel like this should, this should have been something better. Maybe, okay. Maybe he would have, maybe instead of this, he does protection. So, um, instead of dealing damage, he does maybe like a 50% chance to apply or just guarantee it, right? Because this is an ultimate, you're not going to be firing it off often. Do a protection that guarantees two, two, two allies and stuff. I think that would have been a lot better. Um, but yeah, actually, no, I understand why it's only one because let's just say in PvP, right? You're running it down. You only have two allies available. Okay, I understand. Maybe what you should have done, apply the protection here, and then also guarantee, increase your defense, increase this uh, class of defense, and then do taunt. I think that would have been a very, very good ultimate, but that's kind of too broken, especially for a rare unit. So I understand, unfortunate, but I'm going to go ahead and place him as seeds here as well. And he's nothing too crazy, um, but I do like that second skill though. I like the second skill of protection, not being able to select the target. So really, really good, but this is also kind of pointless at the same time because if you're doing like an AoE attack, I'm not sure if they still get attacked or not. Do they? I'm not too sure. Because like AoE attack, you obviously can't avoid it unless they just simply don't get attacked at all. Interesting, I wonder. But if you know, let me know, but I'm pretty sure you still get attacked by AoE. So this is really, if you still get protection, it's still kind of pointless, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, Sister Lily, Sister Lily, okay. One of the few healers in the game, 70% uh, attack across the board, 
Summon the Aphis Water. Okay, so single target grants an ally with the lowest HP, HP recovery equal to 20% of their maximum HP. Not bad. Um, and then special skill grants an ally HP recovery equal to 300%, 360% of magic attack. Uh, I'm assuming it's hers. And then applies increased attack level 2 to an ally for 2 turns. Um, combine 60% chance to dispel debuff times 2 from an enemy. Okay. Okay. Uh, not bad. She is a healer. Um, I do like the HP recovery equal to 360% of magic attack. Obviously, it depends on who you bring for the magic attack. But overall, not bad. And then she's doing an increased attack level 2. So you can increase your attack by 55%. Overall, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I think between all the rare units, she is probably one of the best rare units you can take. If you had to just take any rare unit. Um, she's offering that healing. Obviously, it's not the same amount as Mimosa. But... She can do a decent amount, and then for a partner attack, you still can get rid of a debuff on your enemy, and a pretty good percentage chance, by the way, too. So, I like it, uh, but for now, I'm going to put her... I'm actually going to put her at B tier. I think she is way better than all these. Actually, she... I put Gork up here as B tier as well, because Gork was pretty good. Gork is actually pretty good. Um, let's see. Actually, I lied. I lied. I lied. Nope, never mind. You're going back in C tier, but... Yeah, I mean, he's better than Catherine, but I still wouldn't put her at B tier. So, Lily, B tier. Next up, we have Marks. Okay, Marks, Marks, Marks. But most likely, she is going to be brought down to C tier, just FYI. 105 across the board. Uh, support an ally with communication magic. Increase crit rate level 1 to an ally for 2... To all allies, I'm sorry, for 2 turns. 40% chance to increase accuracy level 2 to an ally for 2 turns. Wait, this is actually really good. This is actually really good. Wow, that's actually a really good skill, believe it or not. So, I would say, right? I would say the reason why this is good, because right now the meta the meta is just damage and debuffs. Damage, speed, and debuffs. It's not really healing, it's not really defense or anything like that. It's just damage, speed, and debuffs. That's pretty much how the meta is right now. This is really good, I'll explain why. Um, and then ultimate applies attack reduction level 3 to enemy for 2 turns. 40% chance to apply extend debuff duration to for one turn to an enemy. Really, really good. And then per, uh, combined attack, 60% chance for silence. You cannot use any skills except skill one. Okay, wait. Marks is low key kind of good. Marks is low key kind of good, dude. What? So, the reason why I say I think his second skill is extremely, extremely good, especially for a rare unit, too. Not only are you getting that increased crit rate level one. So you're going to increase your crit rate by 14%, may not seem like a lot, but depending on the gear you have. But this second one, 40% chance to apply increased accuracy to level 2 to an ally for 2 turns. This can be really, really good. By 25%, that's actually a decent amount. The reason why I say that is because debuffs. Debuffs are insanely good, and the number one debuff unit in the game, I think right now, well, one of them at least, is Lotus. Lotus is all about debuffs. He's all about, you know, doing attack reduction, pushing your enemies back on a speed gauge. That is extremely good. So if you, because Lotus not all the time pops it off. And keep in mind, Lotus just spams his normal attacks to get, you know, possible stun. Um, you know, all the debuffs that you would want. Let's just say, right? Let's just say you do Lotus Finrail. And then maybe you take Marks and someone else. And you apply the second skill towards Lotus to then attack. You have a better chance of being able to proc off all the debuffs that you want. That's actually low-key pretty good. That's actually low-key pretty good. It's not bad at all, especially for a rare unit. So, you know what? I'm actually going to go and bump him up. Marks, where are you? I'm actually going to bump him up to A tier. I think that is a really, really good A tier unit. Um, He's better than Lily for sure. I like his kit overall. And then the ultimate. Uh, This is AoE. Uh, applies attack reduction level 3 to designated enemies. So, I guess you get to choose your enemy for two turns. Uh, you're going to be reducing their attack by 52%. And then you have a 40% chance to extend debuff durations for one turn to an enemy. This is his kit is actually really good for a rare unit. I'm surprised he's only a rare. He should, in my opinion, I think he should be an SR. And then the partner attack too, silence to where you can only use one like skill number one. His kit is very, very good. I like it. I like it a lot. A perfect support type unit. Um, very well balanced, I think. It's actually really, really good for a rare unit. I'm gonna put him at A tier. I'll put him at A tier. That's just what I think. Next up, we have Revji. Okay, 85% uh, across the board. 50% chance, 50% chance to apply attack reduction level one to an enemy for two turns. 
30% chance of applying bleed, uh, doing continuous damage for two turns. Nothing crazy. Summons magical chains. Um, okay, deals 100% damage to an enemy upon using combined attack. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, and then this is bleed. Okay, yeah, that's this is pretty bad. In comparison to like marks, like see, like there's a massive difference between him and marks. You see what I mean? Like I feel like marks, in my opinion, should have been an, an SR unit. But the fact that he's a rare unit, that's kind of crazy to believe. So, Repji, you are a C tier, my friend. You are extremely bad. You are not good. Uh, Salem, okay. 95 across the board, 120 across the board here. Uh, what is it? Single target. Deals a critical strike to enemies with less than 30% HP. Interesting, so guaranteed crit. Uh, but your enemies have to be 30% or less. So, not exactly the greatest. Uh, ultimate applies increased crit rate level 3 to yourself before attacking. Um... And then combined attack. If the enemy is taking continuous damage, applies 30% damage to increase to yourself before attacking. Okay, I think the best thing out of his kit is just the combined attack. Honestly, that's it. Uh, this really isn't reliable because 30% HP or below. Really not anything too crazy. That has to be like pretty pretty low. So already you're gonna be doing. Let's just say, I mean, if they're if your enemies are 30% or lower, most likely your next attack is probably just gonna one tap anyways, regardless of who you're taking. So that's why I say this isn't bad. I mean, that's pretty bad. If it was higher, maybe like less than 50%, I feel like that would be better. But 30%, yeah, nothing crazy because you're going to be most likely, if they're 30% or lower, your next attack is most likely going to one tap. So that's why I say this is pretty bad. If they made it 50%, he would be a little bit better. But yeah, nothing. I, I don't like his kid. I don't like it. So you are C tier. I'm still very surprised about Marks. I'm actually genuinely shocked. His skills are extremely, extremely good. Like, his whole kit is good. I like it a lot. Like, extremely a lot. I might actually have to build him up. That's actually really, really good. Wow. All right, next up. This is still crazy, dude. I, I like it. I like it so much. Uh, let's see. Seke. All right. The troll himself. 90% across the board. Uh, 110 across the board. Single target. Applies taunt. Interesting. 6% to apply increased defense level 1 to yourself for 2 turns. Okay, so you get the taunt and then you get the increased defense. Very solid. I like it. And then ultimate applies fortify, fortify level 3 to yourself. Fortify reduce damage taken. Very nice. And then combined attack. 40% chance to applying stun to an enemy target for 1 turn. Um, Not bad. Not bad. See, like there are some rare units that are actually pretty usable. So I'm actually going to put them on the same tier as Sister Lily for now. Uh, Lily, I mean, where are you? Seke, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Honestly, if there was a D tier, oh my god, can I add one actually? Uh, let's see. Let me do this. Add uh, row below. Okay, perfect. So, uh, wait, this is supposed to be C. Alright, C tier. All these are getting moved down. All these are getting moved down, okay? So, we'll do that. Uh, this would be D tier, B tier. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. D tier, C tier, and then B tier. We'll do that, um, and then we will move on to the SRs now. So, moving on to the SRs. Some of them are really good. Some of them are, you know, not so great, obviously. But for now, these are just my rare units. Hopefully, y'all can agree with me. I think Marks is the best rare unit out of all of them. This kit is just really, really good, and especially with how the meta is right now. I think, I honestly do think that, you know, 40%, this is pretty decently high. If you get that increased accuracy level 2, then you could, you could, dude, combine with Lotus, you could do some crazy stuff, I think. Just imagine, dude, you'd be able to increase this, have a really, really good chance of getting all the debuffs for Lotus, and then you have a 40% chance of extending the debuffs. That's actually low-key broken. So I, I like it a lot. Um, very meta-relevant, I think. I think he is a meta-relevant character right now. So moving on. All right. Alagdora, uh, let's see. What are you doing? Let's see, 90 across the board applies weapon enhancement level 1 to yourself before attacking if the enemy is affected with a status change. Um, so I'm assuming debuff, right? Increase damage done by 30%. Nothing crazy. 50% chance to apply stun to an enemy for one turn. 50-50, so I like it. Pretty decently high. And then ultimate has a 40% chance of applying stun to an enemy for one turn. Not bad. And then combined attack, if the enemy has a debuff, applies or attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself. Okay, uh, SR unit, not bad, but this is the first one I'm reading into, so he will probably get bumped down. Um, second skill is done. 
ultimate stun first skill applies weapon enhancement level one uh i'm gonna put him okay i'm gonna put him at b tier for right now i don't think he's anything crazy um i think marks in my opinion is better than him uh because the two kits i i think for right now i think the first you know for the first week with how the game is i think marks is definitely more meta relevant than this guy so i'm gonna put him on the same tier but still um i think he is better than obviously sister lily and seke so let me go ahead and do that next up we have asta i mean <laughs> this asta is insanely broken all right 90 percent removes three debuffs from yourself for every debuff removed applies increased defense or applies 30 percent increased defense for two turns like that's just a single skill so super duper good second skill is going to be if an enemy is under the effect of incapacitate has a 30 percent chance to stun them for one turn has a 30 percent chance to apply dispel buff times two to the target really really good ultimate applies defense stance for two turns 40% chance for uh, taunt, super duper good, and then combined attack. Attacks after applying yourself increase attack level 1, so this is this is guaranteed. So you don't need to do anything, you're always going to get this off with the partner attack. Really, really good, and then the united attack, I will look at this. Um, if you do as you know, increase defense level 3 to yourself for 2 turns, 40% chance to taunt. Super duper solid for a SR unit. I uh, I definitely do think he has a SS. I mean, like, he's he's super relevant, especially right now. Especially right now, he is crazy good. So without a doubt, I definitely do do think that he's a unit worth building up. If you are free to play, you will not regret it at all. So moving on, moving on, we got Charmy. We got Charmy. Charmy. Okay, 85 across the board grants HP recovery equal to 120 of magic attack to ally with lowest HP. Uh, 50 chance of performing additional attack on the enemy to inflict damage equal to 60% of attack and magic attack. Grants all allies HP recovery equal to 30% of damage upon performing an additional attack. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, so heals and then a 50-50 chance of doing another attack. And then if you pull off that extra attack, you heal all your allies. Interesting. Okay, wait, this isn't bad. This is not bad. It's not bad. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, second skill, HP recovery equal to 240 of their magic attack. Nice. And then 60 chance of plus one increased special points to an ally. Decently high as well, so that's actually pretty good. Ultimate applies dispel buff. Uh, 50 chance to oh, dispel buff times two. I like it. Very consistent. And then combined attack applies increased magic attack level 4 to your partner's attack. 40 chance to plus 1 increased special points to your partner. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This isn't bad. Charmy's actually low key good. She, she can be pretty good in some events. Um, but with how the meta is right now, like I said, healing unfortunately is not the best. So, uh, Charmy, I'm going to put you on the same tier as B. You are good. Um,. I actually Loki want to put her on C tier, unfortunately, but let's see. HP recovery, 60 chance of applying plus one. Um, I mean, <sighs> dispel buff, and then another 50 chance to dispel buff again times two. This is AoE, by the way, so then... Okay, I'll keep her at B tier for now. I will keep her at B tier, but um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I, honestly, I, I think Marx is probably better than her, especially with how the meta is. So, yeah, uh, Finro, oh my god, dude. Need I say less, bro? The unit that everyone wants. The unit that everyone wants. I literally made a summon video just to try and pull him, and I didn't. I ended up pulling SSRs, dude. Like, what is my luck? But if you don't know what this GOAT is doing, he applies increased speed level 2 to two allies with the lowest stamina for two turns. Insane. That's just his first skill, by the way. Uh, second skill applies increased attack level 2 to all allies for 2 turns. If the designated ally has an increased rate buff, applies 10% increased damage setting for 2 turns. Ultimate, increased speed level 3 to all allies for 2 turns. 60 chance to dispel debuff. Uh, 50 chance to increase rate, increase crit rate level 3 to an ally. And then combined attack applies increased attack level 4. 50 chance to apply 50 chance increased stamina. Like... <laughs> Need I say less, and then the United attack applies 20% increased stamina damage, or, oh my gosh, applies 20% increased stamina to all allies, and then grants uh, DOT immunity to all allies. Like, 
Need I say less, bro? Need I say less? This unit is the absolute GOAT. Best SR unit in the game, without a doubt. So, yeah. Gosh, okay. I actually got one tap by this, by Gosh, uh, earlier today. So, 50 chance to perform an additional attack. Very nice. Uh, second skill, if you have an active buff, perform an additional attack. Very nice. Full reflection deals damage equal to 90% of attack and magic attack to an enemy with additional attack upon landing a crit. Okay, don't like the ultimate. Um, I, I actually don't like it at all. I think it's weird. Um, combined attack, if the target is suffering from a DOT effect, apply 30% increased damage to self before attacking. Okay, I don't like it because the ultimate is based off of a crit and he doesn't have anything crit related. I'm not worrying about other units that you would take with him. I'm just, I just want to solely focus on a unit's kit. So, unfortunately, he's not doing anything crazy. He do he does have a really high attack stat, but um, you have to land a crit. So, that that's the whole purpose of his ultimate. So, unfortunately, he is C tier. I don't like his kit at all, sadly enough. But, um, yeah, his kit, I don't like it. Next up, we have Heath. Alright, Heath. 70 chance of applying bleed to an enemy, dealing continuous damage, okay. Um, second skill, 50 chance of applying freeze to an enemy target for one turn, very nice. Ultimate, 60 chance of applying bleed to an enemy, very nice. And then combined attack has a 40% chance of applying freeze. Okay, so bleed, freeze, bleed, and freeze. Um, very consistent, I like it. Uh, you know, debuffs and all, whatnot, that's pretty, pretty solid. It's going to be what? Single target, single target, AoE, and then single target. Um, with how the meta is right now, bleed and poison isn't anything too crazy. Um, so for that, Heath, I'm going to put you at C tier. I don't think you're anything crazy, but I mean, if you are able to get the freeze off, then you do get to have a free turn. Um, and it is a decent amount as well, so it's not bad, but I just don't think it's super relevant right now. I mean, yeah, I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like it, but uh, next up luck okay 45 percent chance to deal an additional damage equal to 35 percent of attack and magic attack with additional attack 35 percent chance to with additional attack to an enemy with an active shock debuff so you want to make sure you get the shock debuff uh second skill 70 percent chance of applying shock to an enemy dealing continuous damage ultimate applies increased defense penetration level three to yourself for attacking aoe and then combined attack if the enemy is affected by a status change attacks after applying 30% increased damage to self um okay i he is okay i don't think he's anything too crazy um i mean you have to he's working off of that additional attack and it's not a high percentage chance either so i mean if you get the shock off you want to use the second skill theoretically and then use the first skill uh, and then the ultimate, <sighs> yeah, I, I don't like it, um, yeah, I, I don't like his kit too much, I don't think it's anything crazy right now, so Luck, where are you, where are you, Luck, I'm gonna go ahead and put you at C tier as well, I don't think you're anything crazy, so, um, unfortunate, cool, cool character in a, you know, in the anime, but for now, in the game, you are not looking too spicy, my guy, Magna, uh, 70% chance of applying burn, Pretty solid and then second skill 50 chance of applying stun pretty nice apply stun to enemy for one turn if they have an active burn that's good that's good this is good this is not bad this is not bad at all ultimate 60% chance of applying burn to an enemy uh, doing continuous damage this is AoE so not bad and then combined attack is doing a defense reduction level 4 to an enemy for one turn okay wait he's not bad he's not bad so Magna overall isn't anything he's actually pretty all right because you have a decent chance of getting the burn off like quite easily actually 70% chance that's pretty high this is a we I would put him even higher on the tier list but uh, ultimate has a 60 chance so that's not bad honestly I'm gonna go ahead and put Magna at I'm gonna go ahead and put him at B tier I, I think that's pretty good um, if you get a stun off I mean it's guaranteed if they have a burn which you seems like you can get pretty consistently so Overall, not too bad. I like it. Free stun, you know, free turn that the enemy is not able to have. So, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright, 
Mimosa, 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 SR Mimosa. So, all right, grants to ally was low as HP recovery equal to the 120. Okay, and then let's see, grants an ally HP recovery equal to 240. Okay, 80% chance of removing bleed. Okay, I don't like that second skill. Ultimate HP recovery equal to 180, and then applies HP recovery equal to 120 with to an ally with HP equal to 50 or less. Okay. And then combined attack, increase attack level 4, and then grant your partner HP recovery equal to 200% magic attack. Okay. Consistent, 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 consistent. Hate this. Th this right here is dumb. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. This should have been something else. Um, for that, I mean, I mean, removing bleed. Not all units can do bleed. It's only like a handful of units I can do bleed. So with that being said, I don't think she is crazy. I'm going to go ahead and put her at B tier for now. So... Like I said, I'm, I'm being pretty harsh with these units because, like I said, coming from a free-to-play player, and I want to make sure that these units are 1,000% worth investing. So, uh, next, oh, we have Nebra. Okay, 80 across the board, applies to magic attack, reduction level 1, to an enemy with the highest stamina. Wait, this is a single target, though. So, it, I mean, single target, oh, okay, wait, is, is this still going to even hit if it's, if it's single target? Because what if it's not the person you're attacking? What if it's someone else? Interesting. I'm assuming that you might get this off. You probably get this off, but still. Um, okay, pretty low. And then second skill, a 40% chance to transform an enemy into a cocoon. So pretty much they lose a turn. And then applies defense reduction to level 4. Okay, pretty solid actually. And then summons a clone. So shadow clone jutsu. Summon two clones to deal damage equal to 35% of magic attack. Uh, upon using Miss Bullets, which I believe is her single target skill. Okay, um... Ultimate is very... <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it's unique, to say the least. Uh, and then Combined Attack applies Incapacitate level 4. Um, I don't like her kit that much, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, her ultimate is not really working with the rest of her kit if that makes sense this is debuff debuff and debuff i feel like her ultimate should have been something debuff related as well if the, if the rest of her kit is going to be defense i mean debuff related so was that i'm gonna go ahead and put her at c tier i don't think she's anything crazy and a unit that you probably don't need to invest into which one is it wait hold on who are you uh no bro you're the girl one okay where are you okay there you go i'm gonna put her at c tier don't think she's anything crazy so unfortunate um noel 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 okay so this is one of my lrs on both of my accounts actually all right first skill applies defense level one to ally with lowest health not bad uh second skill applies barrier equal to 120 of magic attack to an ally for two turns 80 percent chance to apply dispel freeze i don't like it ultimate applies a barrier equal to 180 of magic attack to all allies applies increased defense level three to all allies ultimate is very very solid and then combined attack increase or at, increase attack level four to your partner's attack has a 30 percent chance of applying stun to an enemy for one turn okay um how do i like it so i use this unit a lot okay wait hold on united attack grants all allies barrier equal to 90 percent of okay this is pretty all right it's pretty all right um how do i feel about this one I think Noel is a great unit to have, but unfortunately, as much as I love using her, Noel, you are going to have to be B tier. Notice I haven't put any in S tier or A tier. This is probably going to change in a little bit, but um, for now, I just don't think that these units are worth using, especially with the current meta that we're in. Heals and, you know, guard, or not guard, but what is it? Barriers, they don't really help you out like that. There is one unit in this game that has barrier that can probably help you, but I mean, I'll, I'll get into him later, but yeah, Noel, unfortunately, you're not anything too crazy. All right, you, what are you doing? Okay, uh, applies defense reduction level two to an enemy for two turns if the enemy is under your effect of a stun. Okay, I don't like that. Applies defense or damage resistance level five to an enemy for two turns. This is good. Um... Wait, by 0%, it's probably a typo. So it's an X amount of percentage, I don't know how much. Uh, wall smash, AoE, 40% chance to get stun off, and then combined attack, reduce en endurance, level 4 to an enemy for one turn. Reduces endurance by 
Um, okay, first skill, pointless. Uh, second skill, pretty good because, I mean, I, it's level 5, so I'm assuming it's doing a decent amount, you know? Uh, ultimate, 40% chance, not the highest. This is ultimate, you're not going to be getting this off very often, so I would have liked it to maybe have been 60%. I think that would have been way better, especially as a SR unit. And then combined attack, this, I mean, that, that's alright. Single target though, so bear that in mind. Um, but first skill is kind of pointless. Second skill, I think is good. Third skill, I think the percentage should have been higher for a SR unit. I think 60% chance would have been better. Um, and then combined attack, or maybe even 50, maybe not even 60, dude. 50% I feel like would have been better as AoE. You have a 50-50 chance of getting that off. Um, yeah, I don't like it. Not the greatest kit, so I'm going to put him... Where are you? I didn't even think you made the tier list, buddy. Oh my gosh, you didn't even make the tier list. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, if I had to put him on the tier list, then he would be... Wait, did I put the wrong unit on? I did. Oh my gosh, I did. Wait, where did I put him? I put him at B tier. He should belong in C tier. <laughs> he should be at C tier. Um, because his first skill is working off of stun. So they have to be stunned in order to get this off. But if not, then... Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of useless. So... Next up, uh, we have the sister. Alright, Soul, what are you doing? Applies taunt to an enemy for one turn if they have stamina equal to 70% or higher. So ideally, you want to go first. 80% uh, chance to taunt enemy for one turn. Very nice. Applies attack reduction level 2 to an enemy for two turns. Pretty good. Uh, and then applies reduce magic attack to level 3 to an enemy target for two turns. And then 50% to dispel an enemy's barrier before attacking. I don't like this ultimate. Uh, and then applies increased magic attack level 2 to yourself and then attacks. Okay. I like this. I like this. I don't like this. And this is... This is okay. Um, this should have been something else. I feel like maybe guarantee, you know, put up a taunt already. Or do something defense re related. Or if you're not... It's not defense related, then... Uh, let's see, maybe do some kind of debuff that can slow them down, reduce their stamina or something. I feel like that would have been really, really good. But, or maybe just do, maybe get rid of this 50% and then do applies, reduce magic attack and regular attack. I think that would have been better. But this barrier thing is pretty crappy Um, because not every unit in the game has barrier. So not the best, not the best, not the best. Uh, So for that, I'm going to put you at B tier. So... But I do like the first and second skill though. I, I like both of them. Very, very nice actually. Very nice. Alright. Solid. What are you doing? 80% chance of applying increased crit damage level 2. Pretty, pretty high. And then attack and magic attack. Not bad at all. Uh, second skill. 45% chance of applying silence. So they can only use skill number 1. Okay. Pretty decent. 45%. Not bad. And then ultimate. Uh, attacks after applying increased crit damage level 3 to yourself. For each buff you have. Applies 10% increased crit damage to yourself for attacking. So this is the exact same buff that Jack has as well. So this this ultimate is actually really, really good. Um, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. That is not bad. And then combined attack. If the enemy, if at least one enemy is affected by a status change. Attack after applying 15% increased damage to yourself. Not bad. Okay, he is not bad at all. I like the first skill. Um, second skill, I like it okay-ish. It's not anything too crazy, but it has, it is a pretty solid percentage, so he is not bad. And then the ultimate, I, I like it. Um, but the only thing is that you most likely only gonna have one buff. That's the only thing. You're most likely only gonna have one buff based off his kit alone. So that is something to bear in mind. You are gonna have to take another unit. To, I mean, obviously you're gonna take more than one unit, but still, um, yeah, nothing too crazy. I don't, I don't. This ultimate, I liked it at first, but then I realized that you're gonna have to have um, units to, to support yourself. So I'm gonna put solid at. He's actually gonna be the first A tier unit. Actually, what do I want to do here? A or B? I'm going to put him at. I'm gonna put him at A tier. I'm gonna put him at A tier, and he's probably gonna change. But I like the first skill. That's a, that's a really high amount, actually. Second skill, you can nullify them, which is gonna be very handy. And then ultimate is capable of doing, you know, good, actually. I lied. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move him down to B tier because his AOE 
if this is a single target and the attacks were a little bit higher, then I would maybe put him to A tier. But I realized it's AoE, so he's not going to be doing crazy damage like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I convinced myself of that. Uh, Valtos, alright. What are you doing? Applies 10% increased stamina to ally with lowest stamina. Pretty nice. Uh, and that's guaranteed, by the way. And then applies increased medic attack level 3 to designate ally for 2 turns. 50% chance of applying block stamina reduction to an ally for 1 turn. Pretty nice. Very meta relevant, by the way. Uh, and then ultimate applies 20% increased stamina to all allies. Very nice. Wait, what? Applies a buff to your partner. Applies increased crit rate. Crit rate level to your partner's attack, level 5, and then 50% chance of applying 10% increased stamina to your partner. Wait, he's actually really good. What? I love, I love, I really love, and I like it a lot. Wait, okay. He's, he's actually, I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him at S tier. I think he is a unit worth using, especially in his meta relevant. Wait, hold on, what, what are your, I, I'm, I'm curious, what is your stat? Uh... 124 speed by the way too this is actually really good he's actually really good i'm gonna put him at s tier i'm gonna put him at s tier okay Valtos. i'm gonna put him at s tier i like his kit a lot i think he is very 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 meta relevant right now um just the increased stamina all around is actually super duper solid so and it's guaranteed by the way it's not a set chance so you're gonna be getting this that's actually really really good i like it i like it so i'm gonna put him at s tier Super duper good. It's SR unit. Very, very nice. Good as Finrealm. Asta. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. So, uh, baby girl Vanessa, what are you doing? Okay. Increase accuracy level 2 to the ally was the highest attack for 2 turns. <sighs> this would have been so good. Like, crazy good. The only thing is that it's based off the unit with the highest attack. So let's see. Let's 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 see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh second skill applies increased defense level two to all allies for two turns. Has a 40% chance to dispel DOT times two from an ally. Okay, and then the ultimate applies total defense to all allies for two turns. Has a 60% chance to apply a blessing of protection to an ally for two turns. Uh blessing of when damage is blocked. Restore the HP by 8% of max HP. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, I have tested this out before. And it's not the greatest. So, and then combine attack. Increase defense penetration level 3 to yourself and partner attack. Okay. As much as it hurts me, I'm going to have to put her at... I'm gonna have to put her at C tier. <sighs> no, B tier. I have to put her at B tier. I'm gonna put her at B tier because this is really, really good. But the only thing is that it's based off the highest attack, which means that it could be applied to a unit that doesn't even have any like debuffs that, that can be put on the enemy. It could be someone who's like a single target damage dealer that has like no debuffs applied on their kit, which that sucks if that's the case. But I do like the increased defense level 2 to all highs for 2 turns. And then this is a pretty decent amount. Um, and then the total defense is really, really good. All damage received. And then this can be really, really good as well. The only reason why it's not higher and it's not like A tier or anything like that is because I have tested this out before. And most cases, okay? Most cases in PvP, healing really isn't relevant when it comes to like any healer wise. And so this... Like, this is going to be completely irrelevant if your unit gets one-tapped. Which, in most PvP cases, you're able to proc that off anyways. So, this is why this is not the greatest in my opinion. But, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, I have tested this out before. Um, and, it it can be good only if your unit doesn't get one-tapped. That's the only thing. Which, I think there are a lot of units that can one-tap if you do set them up right. So, that that's the only thing um and then i do like the combined attack this is pretty pretty good as well so you can do some crazy nuking with this actually so not bad not bad not bad i like it i'm gonna put her at i'm gonna put her at b tier i'm gonna actually no do i put her b a a b i'm gonna put her at a tier i'm gonna put her at a tier just because i like her a lot actually and i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit biased so you know pro she's probably b tier but i i'm gonna put her at a tier okay um, and then, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you already know SS tier. Super duper good, man. Um, 
Upon defeating enemy, deals additional damage to 35% of magic attack with an additional attack. Upon landing a crit, deals additional damage equal to 35% of attack and magic attack. So pretty much the same thing as luck. 60% um, chance of applying defense reduction level 2 to enemy for 2 turns. And then ultimate has a 60% chance of applying incapacitate level 2 to an enemy for 2 turns. And then uh, upon having a buff, applies attacks after applies 15% increased damage to yourself. Very nice. Um, okay. I lied. He is not going to be SS tier. He is probably going to be... He is probably going to be A tier. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The reason why I'm going to put him at B tier is because... Um, I don't like... I don't like this whole crit thing. Um, you have to land a crit, and he doesn't have anything in his kit. I feel like this should have been maybe increased crit rate. That would have been really good. Um, and then for the ultimate, I feel like he should have had like a additional something to where it has like a has a forty percent chance to apply crit rate increase level two, three, or four or something. I think that would have been really really good, especially for an ultimate that you're not gonna be able to proc off like every single turn. It's gonna be like once every like four turns most likely so yeah i'm gonna put him at i'm gonna put him at a tier just because i know he's really good and he can do insane amount of damage but just based off his kit alone um i feel like he should have had a crit rate in here somewhere which he does not unfortunately so unfortunate but um yeah overall i have seen what he can do crazy crazy damage man crazy crazy damage who do we have up next? Alright, that's all the SRs. Now moving on to the SSRs, man. The, the fun stuff, right? The fun stuff. Season 1, Asta. <laughs> if you have an active buff, 50% chance to uh, deal an additional attack and to inflict damage of equal to 70% of attack. Applies 2% increased damage, stacks up to 5 times. Single skill, by the way. Crazy broken. Uh, second skill applies attacks after applying increased attack level 1. Has a 80% chance of applying plus 20% increased stamina to yourself. Crazy, crazy good. Ultimate, grants you an extra turn when attacking an enemy whose HP is 80% or above. Uh, attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself upon attacking a boss. Very nice. And then combined attack, removes an enemy's barrier before attacking. I don't like the combined attack. Um, pretty useless in my opinion because not, enemy, not all enemies are going to have a barrier. So pretty good against boss race i think because most likely they will have some kind of barrier but overall love it one of the best damage dealers in the game so ss tier need i say less charlotte 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 so this unit you know a lot of people say she's good she's bad um but let's find out so single target attacks after applying 30 percent increased damage to yourself if the enemy has a mark okay so bear that in mind um and then second skill applies re uh, reduced defense level 2 to all enemies for 2 turns. 50% chance to apply mark to an enemy for 2 turns, so 50-50, decently high. Ultimate applies attack reduction level 3 to all enemies for 2 turns. 40% chance of applying bleed to an enemy dealing continuous damage for 2 turns. And then combined attack applies incapacitate level 5 to an enemy for 1 turn. Uh, United attack attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself if an enemy has mark. Okay, um, the reason why, <sighs> so you need to have the mark off for the skill to be quote unquote viable, you need a mark for, let's see, I, well you don't need a mark anywhere else actually, let's see, what does the mark even do, mark uh, grants an additional turn if an enemy is, with a mark is defeated, okay, so if you get the mark off, you get an extra turn, which is pretty nice. Um, and you reduce the defense by 50%. So she can be really, really good, actually. She can be really good. So ideally, what you want to do is second skill. All right, Charlotte can be really good. But ideally, you would want to proc off the second skill first. Then the first skill. And then I think the ultimate. I think that would be really, really good. Um, or for anything, second skill. And then ultimate. And then first skill. But I mean, ideally, you can do second skill, first skill, then ultimate. So... Really, really good, actually, and 50-50 chance is actually pretty, pretty high in his AoE. So I'm gonna put her at A tier. I think Charlotte is A tier. Um, super duper good. I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm gonna move these units around. Just give me a second, but very, very nice. Uh, Fugaleon. Okay. 
If the target is suffering from a DOT effect, apply 30% increased damage to self or attacking. Pretty nice. Uh, second skill, 50% chance to apply burn, dealing continuous damage. Ultimate, attacks after applying 40% increased damage to yourself if an enemy is taking DOT damage. Applies burn to an enemy, dealing continuous damage. Okay. And then, attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself if the enemy is taking DOT. Okay. So, I like it. Um, but the thing, so I'm assuming this means damage over time. So, I, I really would have liked it because he's, you know, obviously working off of that burn. Um, because the ultimate guarantees a burn, by the way. I think, let's see, is there anywhere where I would want to put this? Um, because I'm trying to think of maybe something stun related like how Magna does. He gets a guaranteed stun if the enemy has burn on him. Um... Actually, no, I, I think his kit is pretty good where it's at. But the thing is that he's nothing he's, he's not doing anything crazy. I mean, it is single target. He can't, he can't hit a lot. His, his uh, stats are pretty high for his ultimate. And his single target as well. And then you get that increased 40% damage. So... I like it actually. I actually like it a lot. Just kidding. I'm gonna put him at A tier. I think he's really, really good as well. Um, can do some crazy, crazy nukes in my opinion. So next up, we have Jack, my main DPS currently because I don't have Asta on my Korean account. Okay, 60% chance of applying bleed, dealing continuous damage. Okay. Second skill applies increased penetration level four. Applies increased crit rate level four. Has a 60% chance of applying increased speed level 1 to yourself for 2 turns. And then ultimate, 80% chance of applying bleeds to an enemy. Okay, this I don't really like, um, but it's understandable. And then attacks with 10% increased crit damage for each buff you have. So same thing as the other person that we covered already. And then if the enemy has a debuff, attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself. And then united attack, uh, attacks after applying increased crit rate level 2 to yourself and partner. Okay, I like his kit a lot, obviously, okay? Um, he, like I said, he is my main damage dealer, so I really know how Jack works. I like his second skill a ton. It is crazy, crazy good. Um, and then it, this and this work hand in hand, so that's why I like it so darn much. It's actually super duper broken. So with that being said, I'm going to put him at S tier. Where are you? Wait, where are you? You're not even in the tier list. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to put S tier. I really, really like his kit a lot. And he can do insane amount of damage between this and this. So that is why. Next up, we have Leopold. Okay, Leopold is doing, applies 50% lifesteal to yourself for attacking. Okay. Uh, second skill, attacks after applying increased magic attack proportionate to, to your HP to yourself. Maximum 30%. Okay. And then 50% chance of applying burn to an enemy dealing continuous damage for two turns. I don't like the second skill. Um, you can get a max of 30% increased magic attack. But, I mean, that's the maximum you can get, by the way. And then you have a 50-50 chance of getting off burn. Um, ultimate. Attacks after applying 50% increased damage to yourself if the enemy is, is taking continuous damage. So it has to be from burn. I don't like that. I feel like it should have been from any continuous damage. But it's only burn. And then applies 30% lifesteal to yourself before attacking. Uh, combined attack if the enemy is attacked with a debuff. Uh, do 30% increased damage to yourself. Okay. I don't like Leopold because his ultimate is working off the burn. I feel like his second skill should have been... Let's see. And it's only doing to three enemies. That's This is the first unit I've seen to like actually specify a number. This should have just been... AoE, it should have just been everyone, not just three, but um, I think that this should have been guaranteed, in my opinion, because then you could do some crazy, crazy damage with this, um, but I understand why, so unfortunately, he doesn't have anywhere that guarantees burn at all, I mean, it's all RNG, and even his combined attack isn't anything burn related either, neither is a normal skill, so I feel like this should have been, you know, Maybe, because it's single target, maybe this should have been a guaranteed burn. That's it. And get rid of the lifesteal. I feel like the lifesteal is so dumb. I don't know why he has this, actually. I mean, I understand why because of this. But, um, I don't like it. I, I, I don't like it, in my opinion. I feel like, is this single target? This is single target as well. Maybe get rid of this. 
and then guarantee yourself a burn so you can get that increased 50% damage. I feel like that would have been better, but that's just me. I don't like the whole lifesteal portion of it, so Leopold, unfortunately, is going to be B tier. I, I don't like his kit at all. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but for now, I think I'm going to play him in B tier. He might be bumped up to A tier with Fugalion, but I don't know at the moment. So next up, Lotus. Second skill applies extend debuff duration to an enemy for one turn, applies reduced damage resi resistance level 3 to an enemy for two turns, ultimate applies incapacitate level 3 to all enemies guaranteed. 50-50 to remove all buffs from an enemy, and then apply speed reduction level 3, huge, insane, and then combined attack, 60% chance to apply 20% decreased damage to an enemy, I mean, need I say less, and then the you know, partner attack with Mars is, apply speed reduction level 3, insane, uh, yeah, he's SS for a reason, <laughs> insanely broken, insanely broken, okay, Mars, uh, 60% chance to taunt enemy, I like it, decently high, Second skill, 40% chance of applying stun to enemy for one turn, pretty good, and then applies defense reduction level 3 to enemy turn if they are, are under the effect of stun. Okay, um, single target, 40% chance, this isn't anything too crazy, don't rely on this a lot. Ultimate, uh, applies 45 level 3 to yourself for two turns, has a 25% chance of applying extend debuff station to enemy for one turn, this is AoE. I like this a lot. I like it. The ultimate is very, very good because you also reduce damage as well. And then combined attack, 40% uh, chance with your partner has a 40% chance of applying stun. AoE. I like it. Okay. This makes up for it. Thank God they actually added in stun because to make this useful. So with that being said, I'm going to put him at S tier. I think he is extremely, extremely good. Thank God for this to make this reliable. If not, then he would probably be beat A tier. Low key, I'm not, I, I kid you not, I kid you not, um, but yeah, that is Mars and then Lotus, uh, applies reduce at all attack level 1 to enemy for 2 turns, if their stamina is 50% or less, and then 40% chance to taunt an enemy, okay, uh, love, not really liking, but then I love it again because of this, thank god, and then this is extremely good, I like it, okay, cool, Mars, S tier, uh, Mimosa, I know, I know, I know, Mimo Mimosa, Mimosa, right? Okay, Mimosa, grants the ally with the lowest HP, HP recovery equal to 120, has a 45% chance to apply increased special points plus 1 to an ally whose HP has been recovered. Um, okay, so this is actually pretty, pretty good, actually, believe it or not. And then the second skill... Grants all allies HP recovery equal to 120 of magic attack. Applies extend buff duration. Very, very nice. And then applies increased damage resistance level 2 to all allies for 2 turns. Very, very nice. Uh, ultimate. Grants all allies HP recovery equal to 180. Very nice. Applies increased defense level 2 to all, all allies for 2 turns. And then resurrects and designate ally with 30% HP. Very, very nice. Very nice. Combined attack. Applies increase attack level 5 and then 50 chance of increasing special points plus 1 to your partner. I love it. I love her kit. I love her kit. But unfortunately, with how the meta is right now, she is A tier. I know. It's crazy. Best healer in the game, by far, by the way. And she's A tier. Only because of how the meta is right now. That's the only reason why. If the meta was quote unquote normal and like these enemies aren't doing like buku stupid damage for like no apparent reason, then she would be S tier, I mean SS tier, no problem, like w without a doubt. But because of the meta and like enemies doing like stupid insane damage, like one tapping left and right, like today on stream, well obviously y'all seen the same thing, but when I was, you know, taking on an event on stream, literally, all right, literally a floating head and a floating rock, normal attack by the way. 53k next attack 52k my mimosa gets one tapped so like that's why i'm saying like these enemies are doing too much damage right now like the power scaling in this game is i believe is too high in my opinion they need to fix that which is why mimosa right now isn't too relevant and you don't see her in pvp at all that's the only reason why i would bump her up to s tier which i might but uh because of her resurrection but for now i'm gonna place her at a tier if anything i would put her at first but yeah, I, I might do this, but for now, unfortunate. Um, 
So let, let's see. But most likely, I think I am gonna bump her up to S tier. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Nozel. Um, <laughs> if you are a Nozel fan, skip this because he's not too great. 60% chance to apply poison, doing continuous damage. Uh, second skill applies somatic attack reduction level two to all enemies. Ultimate applies weapon disarm level three to all enemies. Uh, this doesn't even specify what this does, so I really can't say for sure, but I know it's not anything crazy. And then applies reduced special points minus two to an enemy, and that's only single target. If this was AoE, I think this would have been really, really good. Um, I, I, this would have been actually broken, but it's not as only a single target. So, and then with Fugaleon upon landing a crit, okay, this is really, really useful. Yeah, Nozel, <laughs> I think he's like the worst one out of all the SSRs. I'm going to put him at C tier. I think Nozel is extremely bad. I think, yeah, I think Nozel is really, really bad. First skill, useless, not really needed for anything at all. Literally, it's poison out of here for like no reason. No reason at all. Poison for no reason. This is good. This is I don't know how good it is, but if I remember correctly, it's not anything too crazy. And then this would have been really good if it was AoE, but it's not. And then this is yet to land a crit. So that's unfortunate as well. So Nozel, you are C tier. You are extremely bad. I do not recommend if you're free to play, do not put time and effort to him unless you are a Nozel fan. Rod is really, really good. Uh, 40% chance to apply poison, doing continuous damage. Second skill applies increased defense level 2 to all allies. Very, very nice. Increased defense by 140%. Super nice. Ultimate grants, an, grants all allies with barrier equal to 140. 50% uh, chance to apply increased endurance to level 3 to all allies for 2 turns. And then grants debuff immunity to all allies for 2 turns. This is insane. This is insane. This ultimate is so broken and so meta right now. He is SS, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And then combined attack, 60% uh, chance to taunt an enemy for two turns. Okay. First skill, very useless. They should have changed this because it, it literally does not match his kit at all. Second skill, super duper good. Ultimate, extremely, extremely good. And then combined attack, it's pretty alright. The reason why he's so good, the only reason why Rodus is good right now is because of Lotus. That's the only reason why. Lotus is so meta relevant in this game that Rodus is like almost a must have on your PvP team because of his ultimate. If you can go first and get this debuff immunity off, you pretty much nullify Lotus like almost instantly. It's not even a joke. If you pair Lotus, I mean not Lotus, but Rodus and Finral and go first, then you're going to be nullifying Lotus immediately and then you can completely get rid of Lotus the next turn. That is insane. That is insane. That's the only reason why Rodus is so broken. But, uh, yeah. Real, 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 real. The beta counter god. Um, unfortunately, he is not anything crazy, I think, but let's just see. If you have four more special points, apply increased magic attack level one to yourself. Pretty nice. Uh, single target. Second skill applies defense reduction level three to all enemy targets for two turns. 50% chance to dispel boss time two for an enemy. Okay. Ultimate applies incapacitate level 3 to all enemies for 2 turns. 40% chance to apply stun to enemy target for 1 turn. Um, Alright, not bad. 40% AoE. That's actually pretty good. And then combined attack. 80% chance to apply buff block to an enemy for 1 turn. Single target. Um, Okay, combined attack is not the biggest fan, but it is very, very high. So this is actually pretty, pretty good. Um... Do, 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 do. do I like it? Do I like it? Do I like it? I I like it. I like it. I like it because it's AOE and uh, it's a level 3 defense reduction and then you have a 50-50 chance to get rid of buffs. This is actually pretty good. And the ultimate as well is AOE and then it, you can um, do increased damage taken by 50%. Very, very good. I'm going to go ahead and put Rill at A tier for now. I think he is pretty, pretty solid. Um, I might bump him up to S tier as well. But let, let's see, let's just see, let's just see. Who do I have up next? Sally, 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 Sally. SS. Sally is an amazing support type unit. Uh, first skill, I really don't like it, is apply 90% lifesteal, which is very weird. It's just random out of nowhere. But the second skill, very nice, applies increased magic attack level 4 to the ally for 2 turns. Oh, 
All right, second skill applies increased magic attack level four to the ally for two turns, applies increased crit rate level four to the ally for two turns, 60% chance of extend buff durations on ally for two turns. Very, very nice. This is single target, but it's still very, very good for a second skill that is broken. And then ultimate applies increase all attack level three to all ally for two turns. So you're going to be getting increased attack and magic attack by 50%. And then the old, the second part I don't like because it's same attribute, but applies increased crit damage level two to all allies with the same attribute for two turns. So this can be very good, but you have to bring units with the same attribute, which I mean, there's only three attributes in this game. So this is pretty, you can get this off pretty often. But um, if we take out this one, okay, take out this one. Let's just say it's just doing this alone. This is still really good. This is still really, really good. And combined with the second skill, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, combined attack applies increased magic attack level 5 to your partner's attack. And then 50% chance of applying 10% increased stamina to your partner. Very, very good. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I love it. And then this is very random. So Sally, SS tier, I think she is very, very good in a unit that if you pull, you must definitely want to work on here. Um, because she's going to be doing some crazy, crazy attack buffs for your units. All right. Uh, William, William, William. William, I think is going to be SS tier, but let's just see first. Um, Twisted Root. 40% chance to transform an enemy into a tree for one turn. Pretty much is a stun. Very, very good for single target. And it's 40% chance, so it's actually decently high. Second skill. Applies increased attack level 4 to an ally for two turns. Applies increased speed level 4 to ally for 2 turns, very nice. When an ally's stamina is at 50% or below, has a 60% chance to apply 30% increased stamina to them. Very, very good. This should have been ultimate. I feel like this ult this second skill is very, very broken in my opinion. Um, ultimate applies 45 level, level 3 to all allies. Super duper good. And then applies counter attack to the ally with the highest attack. This is so annoying. If he, When he gets this off, dude, it's like... And most of the time, a lot of people pair him up with Yami, so it's like, proc this off, and then Yami's gonna be doing attacks when you attack them. It's just so annoying, and it's very cringe, but it's so broken, <laughs> so I don't blame them. And then, combined attack applies increased defense penetration level 4. So, yeah, he... <laughs> William, SS tier. Super broken, super broken. Um, and then, we have the two Yamis. I mean, First skill applies bleed upon landing a crit. I don't like that one. Uh, doing continuous damage. And then second skill stuns an enemy for one turn if they have an active bleed debuff. And then attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself upon attacking a boss. I don't really like this one. Uh, this one ultimate applies increased crit rate level 2 to yourself for two turns. 60% chance of applying bleed to an enemy doing continuous damage. Um, and then the combined attack, performs the combined attack with your partner AoE upon having a buff. Okay. Um, okay, and then the one with Jack applies 40% increased damage when, when the enemy is taking bleed. Okay. I like. I love. I like. Or actually, I halfway like. Halfway like. And then this one... This one can be okay. So, yes, the bleed is kind of consistent throughout the kit. But ideally, what you want to do first is use your ultimate. And then you would want to do either the... What is it? Single target as well. So, I think you want to do the ultimate first. And then... Yeah. So, you want to do the ultimate first. And then maybe the second skill. To go ahead and get the stun off. Which can be very, very helpful. Um, if not, then you can do the first skill. But overall... I think Yami, I don't think this Yami, in my opinion, is SS tier, just because. I'm actually going to put him at S tier. I'm going to put him at S tier just because you ideally want to get the ultimate procs off first. And then you want to do the second skill to go ahead and try to get the stun off. This is, I feel, because this is single target. And so getting the AoE off, you would have to be very lucky to get the crit off for the other ones, if that makes sense. Right, because you're only getting a actually wait. No, this is actually really good. I okay, I'm completely thinking of this wrong actually, so I'm actually gonna bump them up to SS tier. Um because you're getting the crit increased crit rate level two by 18%, which is actually a decent amount, believe it or not. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put him at SS tier. I think Yami can be really, really good. And if you get him, GG's. Very GG's. 
Uh, and then last but not least, we have the S1 Yami. Okay. Uh, what is this? Single target attacks after applying increase all all attack level one. If you have four or more SP, so special points. Very nice. And then second skill applies block HP recovery and then increase special points to yourself. Very very nice single or AOE as well. So pretty cool. Ultimate applies total silence to enemies for two turns. They can only do um only skill one I think, and then applies reduce special points times three to an enemy, which is huge. Then combined attack uh, removes an enemy barriers. Don't like love um love and then love. So yeah, I mean he's. He is SS, dude. He is extremely, extremely broken. Um, I think I used the wrong picture here, but yes. And then, wait, what? 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 You know is this? But I think that is it, y'all. So okay, now let's start moving units around. Okay, I am going to move. Okay, let's start down here. Down here, I feel pretty confident. Um, I feel pretty confident. I feel... How do I feel about this one? Um... I'm actually... Okay. Crazy as it sounds, I'm actually gonna bump up Marks. I'm actually gonna bump up Marks. I think Marks is extremely, extremely good for our rare unit. Uh, let's see. Applies, and then... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bump up Marks to A2, actually. Crazy as it sounds, but I think Marks is extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. And this is AoE, and then this is single target for ally, but still, nonetheless, I feel like that is very, very good. So, and you have a 40% chance, so this could be, this is actually decently high. So, it's not bad, actually. And if you can get that off, it's going to be really, really good. A tier, I think Mimosa, I'm going to bump up to S tier, because the only reason why is because her resurrection. Her resurrection has been insanely clutch for me. Like, so many times. I, I cannot tell you how many times her resurrection has saved me for an event or PvP fight. So, with that being said, I'm going to bump her up to S tier. If she did not have the res, then she would be A tier. But for now, I'm going to bump up to S tier. I think she's really, really good. Um, Let's see. Anyone else that I want to bump up? Charlotte, I might bump up to S tier. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Um, Okay, Mark... But this one has a mark, which is a decently high chance. It's AoE. And then you apply defense level 2. And then 40% chance of applying bleed. And then apply attack reduction level 3. This is AoE as well. It's guaranteed. Okay, I'm going to bump out Charlotte to S tier as well. I think Charlotte is a really good S tier unit. If you pull her, you should use her. But um, is there anyone else that I want to focus on? Okay, what do you do again? Let me let me take a look at you. Who are you? Solid. Um Okay, same as Jack. And then this is gonna be kind of AoE, but not really. Silence, you can only use skill one. And then attacks with 80% of chance of applying increased crit damage level two. This is gonna be single target. Um I don't Actually, I'm going to bump him down. I'm going to bump him down to C tier because it doesn't have anything crit rate. I'm just now realizing that. It's just crit damage and crit damage and crit damage. He needs crit rate, which he doesn't have. So, yeah, I'm going to bump him down to C tier. Um, I think that is everyone, though, unless I'm mistaken. Let's see, taunt. I like that. I like that. Uh, and I like that. And this one is pretty okay. But then I like this again, so... Okay, I like it. But yeah, I think this is my free-to-play tier list. Units, obviously an SS. Units that you must definitely have to work on if you have him. S tier, I think is really, really solid as well. Um, let's see. Rare. Let's see. Where? No, no. SR. Valtos. Guaranteed to get this off. Guaranteed to get this off. A very, very good chance to get this off. Guaranteed to get this off, guaranteed to get this off, and then very high chance to get this off. Yeah, he, he's S tier, without a doubt. But I'm gonna end it there. Please, 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 if you disagree with me, let me know nicely. But I, I know that I'm probably gonna get roasted for this tier list. Um, but this is coming from a free to play player, okay? I'm just gonna remind y'all I'm a free to play player, and this is my tier list that I would, you know, I'm making obviously 
and units that I think you should focus on. And yeah, so I'm in it there. I'm gonna go drink some tea. Um, actually, do I want to move up Mars? Let me, let me look at Mars one more time. Let me look at Mars one last time. 60% chance. Very, very good. 40% chance to apply stun to enemy for one turn. Very nice. Applies guaranteed to get this off, but they have to be stunned. Um, but single target though. And then this is AoE. AoE, but you have 40% chance to get the stun off. Okay. Um, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep my S tier. I think S tier is appropriate for him, but... All these units, without a doubt, are like broken in game, w without a doubt. Asta, I think I'm actually gonna put him up to S tier, but this, yeah, I feel very confident with this. Okay, yeah, I feel confident with that. But I'm ended there. Y'all take care, have a good one. Subscribe, like, share, and um, yeah, roast me in the comments because I know that's gonna happen. Right? Bye.